Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The name of the rivalry just seems so calm. The Sunflower Showdown. Trust me, they won't be handing out bouquets to one another. The Jayhawks and the Wildcats, Kansas and K-State get set for an in-state rivalry. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. The final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Tackle around the 45-yard line. The Wildcats were feeling pretty good about themselves, especially after a record-setting performance last week. But the best thing they can do, put it all behind them and get back to work because those records don't mean anything today. First and 10, ball on the 45. He's at the 40. Brock down with only one man to beat. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. From the 33 yard line, first down. It's about four yards on the play. seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. All day, but scrambles out. He dives and he'll be marked down. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Oh, 
gets to about the eight-yard line. That'll be enough to move the chain. You know, you can just look at the offensive line and see the surge, and that running back did a good job of leading the blocks to pick up the first down. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he's tackled at the 10-yard line. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. At that time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. Nice gain as he works the right side. It's third and goal from the three, and this is a very big play for both teams. He's taken down around the three-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That brings us fourth and goal. Kansas State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. tight end and he's taken down right around the 40. That's good for a game of 16 yards. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 40. Steps up in the pocket. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Zips it to the back. A one-yard gain on the play. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards. But the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. middle got his back and now he's got room to run he's at the 40 he's knocked out of bounds around the 38 yard line i'm not sure if the back was his first option but he got in the ball and he was able to make something big happen first and 10 Ball on the 38. Three down, three down. Throws a strike over the middle. He's tackled at the 33. Five on the play. That brings him second and five. another third down they'll bring him down at the 14 yard line first down Three 
Well, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. The Wildcats lead 3-0. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. And they make the stop at about the 11. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Easy, 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 easy. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Gained six yards with a short completion. Kansas is looking to tie things up. The kick is up, and it's good. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Mustangs took the field ranked 20th in the nation. A lot of skepticism. They have to win impressively to hold their spot in the rankings. The Mustangs have the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Mustangs are on top, 7-0. All right, Reese, back to our game. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's out to the 30. He makes it to the 32-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Big opening! Tackle made around the 50. the 50. First down. Pad protection now scrambles. And down he goes. Right around the 48-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Stop your whining. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Got the corner. Irons fields it at the 13. Tackle made at the 31. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Just throws this one away. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down.
slings it. And they push him out around the 40-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That'll bring up third and two. It. He fights forward to about the 40. That's a huge play by this defense to set up a fourth down, and you know that the offense, watching their own defense out on the field, they're getting fired up with a chance to get back on the field and maybe make a difference in this game. Rebus is back to receive. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Throws it in a hurry, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle at midfield. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and he took advantage of it. Scrambling around. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. Right down. Right around the 24-yard line. The Wildcats call a timeout. That's their second of the half. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Tackled at about the 23 yard line. That's a deal of one on the play. That'll make it third and nine. He scrambled. Very good tackle in space. So they're going to go for it here. left finding his tailback he's taken down around the 18 yard line we played a half of football 3-3 tie hi everybody glad to have you with us on the ea sports ncaa football 14 halftime show presented by nissan innovation that excites Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. Yeah. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get it. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect, and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Boy, 
Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He's to the 20. Loose football. Scoops it up. And he's finally brought down at the 11. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That brings up second and 13. It's second and 13. Ball on the 13. And he just gets rid of it. Interception written all over it, but the defender couldn't hang on. I think the quarterback there was a little too intent on hitting that receiver. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kansas State is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Mustangs entered today's game ranked 20th knowing they had to win to stay in the top 25. Let's take a look at this one again. And for SMU, they're creating quite a gap in this one. SMU in front, 24-7. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Barron has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Ball is loose, fumble, picks up the fumble. He finally goes down at the 25-yard line. The Jayhawks have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. They picked up three points on their last possession, and they've got great field position to work from here. Kansas State holds a field goal lead. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. the 24-yard line. Second down. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he's taken down around the 22-yard line. That brings us fourth and seven. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Second and goal. Ten yards to the end zone. He's tackled at the two-yard line. That makes his third and goal. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Touchdown. 
And he converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Mustangs arrive at today's game ranked 20th. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for SMU, a win today would give them nine on the season. The Mustangs are on top, 38-14. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Irons takes it at the eight. He makes it to the 25-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they've played. Here comes the offense. No doubt looking to take better care of the ball on this drive. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Alexander with the tackle at the 31-yard line. That'll make it second They're about four yards away here on second down. They'll bring him down around the 31-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. And he throws it away. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. To around midfield. Two yards. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards go. On the 50. So at the end of three, Kansas State leads it 13-3. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. We 
we've got a first and ten. Ball on the 27. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. to the 17. Darts it to the left. Caught by the sophomore. Touchdown, Kansas State. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. the PAT. It was a six-play, 52-yard drive, and a touchdown to result. Kansas State to kick. From the seven. And he's taken down at the 23. Wildcats have a defense that's a sight to behold, Kirk. Well, they just play with a chip on their shoulder. They are all over the field. The defensive line knows their job. The linebackers, the safeties, the corners. Everybody plays as one, and they've been fun to watch today. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Tackle around the 38-yard line. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. From their own 38-yard line. First down. Just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. From their own 36 yard line, second down. in the game. He wants it all going long. In and out of his hands. down marker is that far away someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down it just didn't happen for him here both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead this defense has really got to step it up and make a stop Three, nine. Three, nine. takes it right and brought down right away Second and ten. 
Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? He scrambles, runs with it, and he's got room. Excellent open field tackle. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. We have less than a minute to go. Inside the 10. Ground attack has iced this game with that touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Control the ballet at stake along with the victory bell as UCLA and USC meet again. One word to describe this rivalry, nasty. USC has the edge, 7-0. 27-3 in our game, Reese. Barron has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Irons from the nine. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. The Wildcats have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. He's hit and taken down. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. There's a strike complete. And he tackles him hard at the 47. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly. And the result is a nice game. From their own 47-yard line. First down. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. And they'll probably try to throw here. They line up on third down and 14. three-yard line. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 27-3, to three, Wildcats. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down in the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over to the next time they play.
That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.